Hello, in this video we are going to go over how to finish the raw edges of an insert using a zigzag stitch. Let's start with flannel again. And of course, since flannel turns and top stitches so easily, this it was, would not be the ideal method for this one. But just in case you wanted something a little bit quick and easy, you want to set your stitch width to be very small, like one or two and your stitch length can stay about two. And then we're just gonna go. We're done. As you can see here, I had the top of the zigzag go over the edge, which makes it a little bit cleaner than say down here where I did not. Flannel really likes to ravel, so all of this is gonna end up raveling down. But of course, to do so, you're going to have to make sure that your um, insert layers are cut out exactly the same size. But that is, it's a very quick and easy way to finish. So let's try this on the bamboo fleece one. And the nice thing about bamboo fleece is that it is a knit fabric, so it will not ravel like um, cotton flannel will. And just note that because it is a knit fabric, um, you want to make sure to use a universal or ballpoint needle. And there we have it. It's a bit wavy, um, but you can iron it out to get the edges to lay flat. Just remember not to pull it through the machine, otherwise it would be even more wavy. And last, but certainly not least, a 3D Zorb. And since this is even more stretchy than the bamboo fleece, it is going to stretch and it it'll be even more wavy just note that when you do cut this out make sure to cut along so the stretchiest part is going sideways not up and down that'll help prevent the stretching this way as you sew it. all right and there we have it just remember to use a little bit longer stitch length on the stretchy fabrics and that will help the wave as well and that is how you finish an insert with a zigzag stitch. And the upside of the zigzag stitch is that you can use more layers than you could if you were turning in top stitching.